Well, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, I'm teacher. Fine. Right, great. Okay. How was your day today? Everything good? Hello, Lisette. Hello, Ramirez. Johnny. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. How are you today? Is it everything good? Everything good? Todo bien? Everything good? Yes. All right, great, great. All right. Let's see here. Okay, hello, Alejandro. Hello, teacher. Hi, welcome, welcome. Here in a few seconds. We will begin. Okay. Welcome everyone. Let me get my notebook. Let me see. Today we have, we are going to just review what we saw yesterday and then we're going to start a new topic and we have a project. La misión la voy a dejar como para el último día. Okay. The mission and vision. For the last week of class that will be after vacation but today we will do what is called a, a graph una grafica a graph like a hierarchy right the vice the president or ceo supervisors human resources those types of things related to work okay so i'm pretty sure you will enjoy that that is in your manual está en su manual también I basically on page uh, in the página 14, right? Number six. Si lo quieren, ya, right? We're going to do that activity today also. Okay? Organizar un, una gráfica empresarial. All right. So let's begin. I'm going to start by doing the attendance. Let me see. Adela Trinidad González. Present. Thank you. Alejandro Antonio Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado. Eloisa Beatriz, okay, no answer. Gerardo Efraín Mejía. Okay, no answer. Gustavo Alberto Montepec. Gustavo Alberto Montepec, okay, no answer. Johnny Omar Torres. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. Jonathan Emanuel Franco. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta. Jorge Alfredo. Okay, thank you. Jose Daniel Argueta. Jose Daniel Argueta. Okay, no answer. Jose David Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose Santiago Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose Conrado. Present. Okay, thank you. Julio Cesar Merino. Julio Cesar Merino. Okay, la respuesta. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Oscar Edison Coreas. Present teacher. Thank you. See. Oscar Enrique Ramirez. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Okay. Rosa Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Let me see. Okay. Victoria Maria Vasquez. Present. All right, thank you. Let me see something. And Jessica Beatriz. Present. Fuentes. All right, thank you. Let's see this. Okay. Two, two, four, six, seven, 
10, 13, 14, 15. Okay. Okay. All right, class. Let me see if I call your name. Si llamo su nombre, eh, I want you to clarify. Right? Si dejé si a alguien fuera, por favor, confirmemelo. Right? Porque tengo el listado aquí en la mano. Victoria. Eh, Misael, Juan Conrado, Jorge, Alejandro, okay. Sabía volado. Lisset, David Rivera, eh, Escobar, Oscar Correos, Johnny, Vicky y Trinidad. Okay. Este es el listado a aquellos que me enviaron la tarea. Okay. So you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 15. All right. Eran 15. Significa que si no lo llamé es porque no la mandó. All right. O si la mandó me pueden decir ahorita si quizás sobrepasé el nombre de ustedes. Eh, si me pueden corregir a alguien que estuve ayer pero no me envió la tarea. No hay ningún problema tampoco. Ok. Aquí llevo el listado. All right. No problem. All right. Eso nomás quedaría para el reporte final. All right. Para aquellos que sí le enviaron, les agradezco. Right. For being a punctual. Puntual. Significa que sí de verdad se esfuerzan. Right. Y cada quien hace su propio esfuerzo como lo vea conveniente. ¿Verdad? Así es que los felicito a aquellos que cumplieron con la responsabilidad de la tarea de ayer, right? Los felicito y sigan así, sigan así, ¿ok? Bye. Eso demuestra thank mucho, you. all right? So thank you, thank you, all right? Yo les agradezco eso, la responsabilidad. Ok, let's continue. Let me see. What is today's date? What is today's date? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, voy a marale. Dice, what is today's date? Dice, Friday, July, story, 2021. Very good, excellent, excellent, excellent. July 3rd, all right, very good. Let me see, Coreas, today's date, please. Today is Friday, July 30. 2021. Mm, okay, close. Johnny, pretty good, pretty good, Oscar. Johnny? Okay. Uh, today is Friday, July 30th, 2021. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Yes, Johnny, all right. Remember, we're using ordinal numbers, ordinal numbers. Vicky, Vicky, today's date. Is today is Friday, July uh, 30, 2021. Mm, okay, cerca ahí con el 30, but good try, good effort, okay? Buen esfuerzo, <laughs> All right, good effort. Let me see, um, Jorge, today's date, please. Jorge Argueta. Ok, no hay respuesta. Uh, Alejandro, can you give us today's date, please? Good. Friday, July 30, 2021. Ok, hold on, Jorge. Hola. Ahorita lo llamo de nuevo, permítame. Alejandro. Friday, July 30, 2021. Ok, close. Close, okay. Okay, Jorge, go ahead. I oh, see sí, Jorge. Let me see. Let me activate the microphone. All right, let me see. Escobar, ya que tienes el micrófono activado, go ahead. Today's date, please. 
Eh, ya, yes. no, no había apretado el, el, el silenciador. Ok, bueno, después sí, de, de, después de um, Escobar, ok. All right, Escobar, give us today's date, please. Uh, Friday, July 30, 2021. Ok, close, cerca. Ok, Jorge. Are you on a cell phone? Jorge, can you hear us? Okay, Jorge. all right, today's day, please. Okay. Uh, uh, today is Friday, um, 2021. Okay, Jul okay, viernes 2021, okay. Esa no es la fecha completa, pero vamos a que escuche aquí. Vamos a ver, all right? Después lo llamo, I will call you again. Um, let me see. Jonathan, can you give us today's date, please? Today is Friday, July 30th, 2021. Okay, very good, very good. Today is Friday, July 30th, 30th, numero ordinal, 30th, 2021. All right, so let me go back to... Okay, Victoria, today's day, please. Okay, Friday, July 30th, 2021. Very good, excellent. All right, so I'm going to share with you, let me see. Okay. Here is the, here is the topic for today's class. And this is what we're going to be focusing on today. Okay, let me see. Um, Lisette, can you read the topic, please? Sí, apenas le escucho, pero ya, yeah, a ver, ¿por qué puedo decir eso? Practice infinitives, how to use it. Use, use. Use, a, n, g, I, 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 n, g, I, n, g, forms, after proposition. Prepositions. Preposition. Very good, after prepositions. Right. Okay, and then we have the date, Friday, July 30th, 2021 or 2021. Okay. Now remember, this is beginner three. Okay. This is beginner three. Están a un paso de ir a intermediate. Okay. So, ya es tiempo que la fecha no la pueden fallar. All right. You cannot be, ya no pueden seguir con esto de que la fecha me lo, me lo están diciendo mal. Cuando ya están en beginner three y ya van para intermediate. All right. No vaya a ser que al final recomiende que se queden en beginner. All right. So. Es tiempo que vayan ya poniendo un poquito más de esfuerzo con las fechas. Y el trabajo que hacemos eh, en clase. All right. Now. Let me see. Eso incluye las tareas. All right. Let's go here. Um, that is going to be, we're going to finish what we did yesterday, okay? Now, yesterday we were talking about infinitives, okay? Ayer miramos infinitives. A little bit at the end, right? We did an activity. Les dejé una actividad de su manual, all right? And some of you did very good, right? La mayoría hizo muy bien en esto, right? The majority. There were some that did, like, le agregaron algo extra que no estaba escrito, right? Como el verb to be. 
Right. And that was like, eso fue como un error, quizás no sé por qué, pero no está escrito aquí. Después de, dice our, no dice is or are, right? No está escrito nada de eso aquí, right? There, había uno que pensó que aim era un verb to be y totalmente lo borró, right? Pero no es un verb to be, no es am, es aim, aim. Como, ¿Se acuerda que le dije? En la forma que uno se dirige, the direction, right? The direction of the company. But for the most part, You did very good. Por la mayor parte, sí. Eh, bueno, incluso no fallaron en, en nada. Right? Creo que el 80%. Muy buenos números. Now, to review this, remember, we were only doing, nomás estábamos haciendo el infinitive. El infinitive consiste en qué? Si yo les digo, ¿qué es el infinitive? ¿Me pueden responder? Alguien? Somebody? Can you tell me what is the infinity? In English, please. In English. If I say, what is the infinitive? Do you know? Right? Está ahí enfrente de ustedes. Right here. Vamos a ver. Let's see who can just tell me what it is. ¿A qué le llamamos infinitive? What do we call infinitives? Infinities are you start to express. Come on, Escobar, what did you say? I cannot hear you. Repeat. In infinities. Okay. The connection, it went. Okay. So Teacher? Yes. Uh, for example, I, I, no, I don't know, like, I like to express Purpose. Okay, that's a, that's an example. That's a good example, right? Ahí me dio un ejemplo de el infinitive, pero ¿qué es infinitive? What is the structure? Argueta. Okay, Argueta. Infinitive are used to express purpose. Okay. Like testament, it's testament. Okay. Eh, okay. Eh, Esa es la definición, right? Eh, eh, una no. forma de uso, right? Pero yeah. ¿qué, qué, what, what, what is the, ¿qué contiene el infinitive? What is the infinitive, right? Yeah, that is the definition. You gave me the definition. You're correct, right? Esa es la definición de eso. Uh, Johnny me dio un ejemplo. Hey, Johnny gave us an example of infinitive. Escobar, can you repeat your your internet went out or something? Can you repeat what are what is in for example what is the structure of infinitive? Mm, uh, what is it made of? ¿Qué consiste? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuáles son las partes para determinar que es un infinito? Eh, no lo sabía decir, Richard. Ok, no problem. No que problem. es la estructura true plus base form. Base form, continúe las palabritas más. Of the verb. Very of good. Very good. Excellent. Hasta allí. Right? Very good. Very good, Trinidad. The infinitive consists of, consiste de la estructura es, to plus base form of the verb. Eso es lo que se le llamamos en infinitive. Right? Es como cuando decimos el, el, el continuous. Right? ¿Cómo sabemos que es continuous? Right? Verb to be y el verb en ing, right? I am working, right? Verb to be en, en, en present continuous, right? Eso es lo que consiste en el present continuous, el verb with ing, the verb to be. But here, with the infinitives, we use to plus the base form of the verb for infinitive. 
En la segunda parte de hoy vamos a ver el ING con preposition. Right? Only that section, nomás esa sección. Hay diferentes formas de hacer ING como el present continuous, but not in this case. Okay? So the, the infinitive, cuando alguien le pregunta, bueno, ¿y qué, ¿y qué consiste el infinitive? ¿Cuál es la estructura? Ya lo saben. ¿Qué es? El to plus base form of the verb. Y cuando dice base form of the verb, se refiere al verbo simple, de forma base, como work, eat, play, jump, read, speak. Esos todos son base form of the verb. No pasado, no presente continuo, no none of that. Only the base form. ¿Ok? No lo cambiamos. Ahí en eje. Now, having Teacher, said that... Excuse me. Yes. Uh, the word to is the... Is to be? No. 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 El verb to be is am, is, and are. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Sure. Very good. All right. So we Arqueta. have. Yes, Argueta. Argueta. Uh, the infinitive in every time is agreed to. Uh, example, to take. Yes, to take. Those are all infinitive. To take. I'm going to take a nap. Voy a tomarme una nap to take, to become. But here, here, Argueta, we yes. are using the infinitive. In esta, in esta practica, we are using the infinitive to use for purpose and direction. Okay? Hay otra forma de usar el infinitive, right? Incluso con gerunds and, and different things like that, o con otros verbos. But for this practice, we are going to focus on two things and dos cosas. For purpose, right? For purpose and direction, right? The direction for vision statements and for purpose for mission, right? Para la misión y visiones de una empresa, okay. right? We're going to use it for that. Uh, when we use to in the base form, at the beginning of the sentence, al inicio de la oración, ¿cuándo la vamos a utilizar en, esta, en este propósito? ¿Para mission or vision? ¿Cuál sería? At the beginning, cuando lo hicimos al inicio. ¿Es para una misión o para una visión? Una uh, visión. Very good. It's for mission. Mission, right? Aquí está. For mission. And then for vision, we use it after our vision. Nuestra vision is to become blah, 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 blah. Y, y we're going to work on that after we come from vacation. Pues recuerden, vamos a hacer esta actividad de que ustedes van a crear su, una compañía y van a hacer su vision y su misión, all in English. All right? Using infinitives. Now, ayer les dejé esta actividad, right? And let me see. Okay. Now. Let's go over. Vamos a, a, a trabajar en ella. No más a repasarla. All right. Number one was already done, right? Number one says, our vision is to become the number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel. Right, esa la hicimos juntos. Our vision is to become, to become. Number two. So aquí sería to, to become, right? Nomás estamos moviendo el infinite. Algunos se fueron más allá en la oración y empezaron a corregir cosas que no tenían que ver con el infinitive. All right. It was just the infinitives. Aquí, di, aquí están las instrucciones. Corregir for mistakes related relacionado con infinitives. Right. Nada más. 
That was the only thing. Number two, habían dos que estaban correct. Is that number two correct, Johnny? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read it, please? Our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meals to construction workers wherever they are. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Our mission is to provide. Is to provide. Healthy. Ahí está todo perfect. So number two is correct. Right? Is correct. Porque tenemos el to in the base form of the verb. El verbo está en simple. Base form. So that is correct. Number three. Uh, Lisette. We I to be the number one cleaning service providers for financial institution. Okay, very good. So here we have a two plus B, right? To be said, right? To be. To be. Very good. Correct. So is it correct? Yes. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Right? It's correct. We have two here. And then we have the base form of the verb. No dice being, no dice being, como in past participle, sino que be, right? Be. Number four. Um, who wants to do number four? Let me see. Trinidad. I is the incorrect. Okay, it's incorrect. Can you tell me how? Bring. How, okay, can you give me the correct sentence? Can you tell me? Can you tell me the complete sentence? We. We exit to bring telecommunication solution for business in rural areas. Okay, businesses. Business. Business. Okay. All right. So what is wrong here? To bring. Okay, so what do we have to do? Uh, se le quita el ing. Okay, take out or remove. Puede decir remove ing. Okay, remove ing. Okay, very good. From bringing, right? Bringing. So. What, the, what would be the correct sentence? To? To bring. Very good. To bring. Very good. So on that one, we were supposed to take out or omit. Omitir. En algunos que le puse omit, significa omitir. O sea, quitar. Omit. I-N-G. To bring. We exist to bring. ¿Por qué? Porque la regla dice el to plus base form two plus base form e i n g no es base form no es simple All right to bring very good number five who wants to do number five quien quiere hacer la numero cinco i teacher okay yes. thank you vicky is correct Okay. Yeah, we, we envision to be okay. leader in the distribution. Distribu okay. Distribution. Distribution. Distribution of energy <laughs> drink in the regional market. Okay. Energy. Regional. Regional. Regional market. Regional. Regional, regional market. Okay, very good. Can you say distribution? Distribution. Distribution. No, no es bu, es bu. Okay, distribution. Okay, ahora dígalo de nuevo. Distribution. Distribution. Distribu distribution. 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 Very distribution. Good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, very good. To be right to be yes to be 
We envision, le faltaba allí el to, right? To be, para que sea infinitive. Number six, who wants to do number six? Juan José, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Juan José. Eh, sería, my company's vision is to become the most preferred our salon for adolescents. Okay, adolescents. For adolescents. Excellent, very good. Preferred, preferred, preferred. Yeah. Okay. Prefer. Prefer. Excellent. All right. So we what do we do to the verb, Conrado? What do we do to the verb? Como le dije que era quitar. No, se me olvidó, teacher. Okay. I'm going to write it for you. All right. Remove. Uh, remove. Remove. Uh, I in G. Okay, very good. So, y, ¿cómo vamos a escribir la palabra? How will we spell the word? Can you spell Become. it? Okay. Can you spell it, please? B. B. A. A. Mm. Así? No, perdón. Okay. Yeah. Eh, I. Very good. B. E C O M E. Very good. Excellent. Now, some of you, a algunos de ustedes se les olvidó poner la E. Lo que hicieron no más quitar el ING y adiós. Así la dejaron, right? Pero ¿qué pasa? Si hubieran visto aquí arriba, un poquito arriba, ahí está la palabra. Ahí están las palabras ya. In infinitives, right? Become, become, right? La pueden ver aquí. Can you see it? Become, right? Aquí. Okay, todas estas ya están en, en base form. Become. Incluso aquí estaba, ¿ve? To become. To become, right? Okay, so number six. To become, to become, so sería así, to become, to become, the most preferred hair salon for adolescents. Okay, that was that activity. Okay. Now, I was going to show you something. This is just... No es parte de la, del módulo, right? Pero nomás algo extra, right? Y prácticamente son varios, all right? Son más puntos. But the three main ones is the, the infinitive is to indicate purpose of an action. Un propósito de una acción, okay? Un propósito, prácticamente lo que estamos viendo, el propósito, right? For vision and mission. Como sujeto. Right? At the beginning, at the beginning, para la mission statement, right? Para la, cuando vamos a hacer la misión, van a ir el to y el verb in base form when we do the mission, cuando vamos a hacer nuestra misión de empresa, right? Cada uno de ustedes van a hacer esto, right? But, y luego como objeto, un direct, un directo, a direct object of the sentence. For example, I like to write in English. A mí me gusta escribir en inglés, right? I like to play soccer, right? Todo eso son infinitives, right? Infinitive. I like to... ¿Qué le gusta hacer a usted, Vicky? I like play softball. To play. Remember, tiene que ir en infinitive. I like... Yes, I like to play softball. Okay, very good, very good. All right. Yeah, that is a great sport. Softball, right? Softball, very good. Very good. What do you like to do, Lisette? I like to run. To what? To run. 
Okay, to jump. <laughs> okay, good example. All right, very good. As long as you're using the uh, the infinitive, right? What about you, Conrado? I like to eat pupusas. All right, all right, very good. Como pueden ver, está utilizando el infinitive, right? I like two, two verbos simples with the two in the middle, right? But that is como, di, como objeto. A mí me gusta qué, qué. Me gusta jugar, me gusta comer, me gusta tomar, me gusta brincar, right? Those are all representa el, el qué, el objeto de la oración, but... Para propósito, vean el propósito aquí. Um, ¿Quién no quiere leer? Who wants to read it? Argueta. Okay, Argueta, go ahead. The number one. Yeah, right here. O la segunda, cualquier ejemplo, it don't matter, whichever one you want. I will lock the doors to prevent the Theft. 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 Okay, very good. So, aquí estamos utilizando el infinitive para un propósito de una acción, right? Yo voy a cerrar la puerta, right? Pero por un, para un propósito. ¿Para qué propósito? Para prevenir robos, right? So, el to también es para propósito, que es lo que estamos viendo ahorita con la visión y misión, all right? A purpose, ¿para qué estamos haciendo esta empresa? ¿Para qué estamos poniendo esta visión, all right? ¿Qué es lo que pretendemos al futuro? ¿Cuál es el propósito, all right? So aquí le estoy dando un poquito fuera de lo que es el ámbito de laboral, pero con el mismo uh, infinitive, all right? Now, with a purpose. Te voy a poner una pequeña actividad. I'm going to put a small activity so you can practice prácticamente el propósito. Porque las otras son fáciles. I like to eat, I like to play. Eso yo pienso que ya lo saben todos, ¿verdad? Right? Cualquiera pienso que me puede dar un ejemplo. I like to, I like to drive, I like to play video games, right? Things like that. But what about for purpose? Que es prácticamente lo importante. Let's see. Bye. Let me see. Who wants to read the first one? This is infinitives for purpose, para propósito. All right? So let's focus on this. Nos enfoquemos en purpose. Johnny, number one, please. Can you just read it? Leamos y después we're going to wait a few seconds and let's try to figure out. Okay. What the answer is. Number one, they are there. They, excuse me. They use their keys. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. 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 I just the microphone activated. Or is it? All right, I'm listening to background. All right. Now, Johnny, can you repeat it, please? Number one. They use their keys. Okay. Ellos usan sus llaves, right? Okay, they use their keys. Y que queremos el, el infinitive, the infinitive, para un propósito. ¿Cuál sería el propósito de usar las llaves? What do you think? Uh -huh. To open the door. door. Ah, vaya, ahora deme toda la oración, Johnny. They, they use their keys to open the door. Very good. So we have the infinitive being used for purpose, para un propósito. Okay? Very good. Number two. Who wants to do number two? ¿Qué quiere, qué quiere reto a alguien que haga number two? Ahí, ahí tiene que ser we go, ok, we go, no es we go, ok, no es we go, es we go, right? so sorry for that error, we go to the park, ok, Coreas, ok, 
We go to the park. Uh, to play basketball. Very good, right? Yeah. So, very good. Ahora dilo sin pausa, without a pause. We go to the park to play basketball. Very good, very good, right? And what about if I, if you want to change the basketball for another game? If you want to change basketball, remove basketball and put another sport, what would it be? Okay. Uh, we go to the park uh, to play tennis. All right, very good, very good, excellent. So as you can see, okay. cuando ustedes ya saben utilizar el infinitive para un propósito, pueden quitar y cambiar y poner. All right, you can remove and play with it. All right, number three. Who wants to do number three? I. Mm -hmm. Vicky. You use the dictionary to translate my essay. To translate my essay. 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 What is essay? No. Mm, okay. Close. All right. Good, good effort. What is essay? ¿Qué es un essay? Un ensayo. Okay. Un ensayo. Essay is un ensayo. Right? So, okay. So, you use the dictionary to translate my essay. Okay. Let me see... Uh, number what about number four Teacher, uh -huh. um, he turns left and right uh, to cross the road. Very good. He turns. Esto, esto está significa, significa. Watch this. He turns left and right to cross the road. ¿Me pueden ver en la pantalla? Can you see me? Like this. All right. So it's like turning your head. He turns left and right. El gira a la derecha y a la izquierda para cruzar la calle. Right? To cross the road. Okay? Now, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ya que son los mismos que están participando, ahora lo van a hacer individual. Ay, pensé que iba a recibir más participación, pero como no es así, eh, me lo van a mandar ahorita y esta sería la tarea número 2 de clase. Ay, voy a llevar ya un conteo desde el inicio a ayer. So this is home, uh, in class activity number 2. La de ayer fue la número 1 y esta sería la número 2. All right, so it'll be... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Y van a escribir todo completo con la numeración. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So you can start writing. This is a writing activity. Esto ya es escritura. Y lectura with grammar. Ya con la parte gramatical with the infinitive to. Ok. Si quieren pueden ponerle uh, activity number two cuando me la manden por favor.
activity number two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, I'm going to give you like um, six, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, five minutes. If you do not finish. Eh, le pueden tomar captura y me la mandan después. Ay, o, o le queda de tarea. Ok. Let me begin. So, aquí ya se... Teacher, yes, what, what is size uh, scissors? Mm, what number, please? Six. Number six. Oh, okay, scissors, scissors, scissors. scissors. Okay. Can you see my hand? Yes. Tijeras. Oh, okay. Tijeras. All right. Thank you. All right. There's scissors. In Avatar, a number ten. Avatar is like um, an image or oh, una figura, right? In uh, when people play video games, toman, se toman como una figura en videojuegos or something like that. That is, a esto se refiere Avatar, right? Avatar, la número 10, number 10, right? Is the is the image that you take in a video game? All right, that's what it means in avatar. Now it can also mean that in other puntos, but in this case it's for that. But it can also be used in avatar. Algo 
que viene del más allá, right? Like from another universe or something like that. Un ser fuera de de la naturaleza humana. But in this case, it's used also as an image. For example, uh, la imagen que uno se, se, se configura en un juego, en videojuego. What is the meaning of so the spaceships as como traje espacial? Yes, spaceship. Yeah. That is correct. I'll get that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we were doing that one, right? We went yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A spaceship. Do -do 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 -do. Right. UFO. <laughs> Did you see the one that went into space? Miraron esa que fue al espacio reciente? Recently, that was cool, right? Okay, remember when you finish, you send it to me. Cuando termina, me lo mandan a mí. You send it to me, all right? Thank you, Johnny. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, you have a okay. two minutes. I'm going to give you two minutes. Two minutes. Dos minutos. Uh, if you don't finish, then that will be for homework. Y pues le queda tarea para fin de semana, entonces. Yo pienso que nadie va a querer eso. So, try to finish. Right, I have two so far. Ya dos me entregaron. Two people. How many do we have here? Four. Seventeen. All right. Seventeen. So Okay. All right. I have another one. Okay. Great. I think I end one, two, three, four. All right. Great. Okay, Johnny, what, what can you use scissors for? I use scissors. I use the scissors. Can you give me your own examples? Uh, I use the scissors to cut. To cut. Cut, cut my old net notebook. Okay, can you give me your own examples? Can you give uh, me your own, to propios examples? I use the scissors to scissors 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 okay. scissors to cut um, a page okay very good a page very good a page excellent all right one two three four five all right what about um I use my keys. I I'm going to change it. Instead of they, I want you to use I. I use my keys. Johnny? Yes, teacher. Can you tell me I use my keys? I use my keys. Okay. To open my door. Okay, very good, very good. Koreas. Can you give me an example using, I use my keys? Uh, I use my keys to open the door of my car. Excellent, good job, good job, yes. Great, great, awesome. 
Okay. All right, class. If you're not finished, take a picture. Si no terminado, toma la captura. All right. And when you finish, you can send it to me. All right. Let me see. All right. So. Argueta. Let me continue. Uh huh. Argueta. I am have the question to you talking about to the they use it the key keys keys okay keys 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 mm -hmm. um, in the form to the start the the card there is the they use it the keys to the start the car to start the car to, to st start the car okay remember Agueta recuerde esto después del to Viene el verbo in base form. No es to the ni nada to a, es to and the verb. In to the and the verb. Simple. Not ing, not past, present. Base form. Okay. Start the to card. Yes, ahora dilo. Say it, please. Uh, I, okay, use it the base case. To start the car? No. Uh, to yeah, it. to start the car, yeah. To start. Right. Okay. Ahora dime que tú usa las llaves. I am using no, the... No, 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 no. No, present continuous. I use... I use the keys to start the car. Vaya, very good. Yes, correct. Thank you. Very good. Eso es. That is infinitive. Very good. All right, let's continue. Okay, now we're going to go to the manual. Vamos a ir al manual. And we're going to do a little reading activity. Okay, but first, all right, if you have your manual, si tienen, si espero lo hagan impreso, y si no, pues le va a tocar escribir, right? Y así, y no quiero que les tocaría así todo el, todo el módulo que estén escribiendo, escribiendo. Si es que no, no desean imprimir el módulo, el, el manual. All right. No es obligación, pero si no lo, si no lo imprimen, pues estarían escribiendo. All right. Si lo tienen impreso, ahí nomás es de rellenarlo. Let me see um, what page is that. Your 11. Page. All right, page 11, right? Very good, excellent. Page 11. Page 11. So it's right after the one we just finished, right? It's page 11, and you have two and three. As you can see, it's the next page, and this is basically a reading activity, and you're going to do um, in pairs, all right? In pairs en pares, pero no sé todavía si lo voy a poner en pares. All right. Es posible que lo hagan individual. Let me see. All right. O es posible que cambie, pueda cambiar de método y algunos en pares y otros solos. Quizás los que no participan los puedo dejar ahí que trabajen solos si parece que es lo que quieren trabajar solos. All right, let me see. Okay, I'm going to do the attendance. Y quizás es lo que voy a hacer. All right. Adela Trinidad González. Present. Okay, thank you. Alejandro Antonio Ramírez. Present. Okay, thank you. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado. Okay, no hay respuesta. Eh, Gerardo Efraín Mejía. Oye, oye. Gerardo Efraín Mejía. Okay, no answer. Gustavo Alberto Montepec. Present teacher. Hey, okay. Welcome. All right. <laughs> Let me see. Johnny Omar Torres. Present. Okay, thank you. Jonathan Emanuel Franco. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Daniel Argueta. Present. All right. Thank you. 
José eh, David. El partido de mañana. José David Rivera. Present. Ok, thank you. José Santiago Escobar. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Juan José Conrado. Present. Ok, thank you. Julio César Merino González. Ok, no answer. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Oscar Coreas. Present. Ok, thank you. Oscar Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Rosa Lisset. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Vicky Dinora. Present teacher. Thank you. Victoria María Vázquez. Present. Ok, thank you. Jessica Fuentes. Present. All right, thank you. All right, now, in this activity, it's on page 11, right? Page 11. You're going to read, I'm going to read it for you, okay? And then there is an activity at the bottom. Hay una actividad que dice pair work, pair work, right? Trabajo en pares, all right? So I'm going to read it for you. Te la voy a leer, and then you are going to practice it with a partner. Okay, la van a practicar con un compañero when we finish, and you are going to answer the two questions. Okay, at the end of this activity, eh, ya para iniciar el cuaderno de esta clase. All right. Now, activity number three, activity number three in class. All right, now, I'm going to ask, voy a preguntar, okay? <clears throat> ¿Quién quiere trabajar solo o sola? Dígame el nombre y no hay ningún problema. Nadie? Ok, la razón por la que pregunto es que cuando yo pregunto que participen, son los mismos de siempre que están participando. Por eso tomé, eh, tomé esa como, ok, quizás quieren trabajar solo. All right. um, ok, entonces, ¿no hay nadie que quiera trabajar solo para ponerlo aquí y no ponerlo en grupo? ¿No hay nadie? Ok. Ok. All right, entonces lo voy a poner en grupos. All right, so, ya aclaramos eso. All right, now I'm going to read it to you, okay? And all I want you to do is listen, okay? All I want you to do is listen. Okay, I'm going to begin. Did you receive a newsletter? Uh, uh, déjame empezar de nuevo. All right. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Okay, core values, right? Los valores esenciales o principales de la compañía. All right, remember that. Okay, we're going to see values too. Vamos a ver los valores, misión y visión of a company. I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. I did, right? Está diciendo que sí, lo recibí, right? It's a great idea. Es una gran idea recordar por qué somos diferentes de otras compañías, right? From other companies. What do you mean? What do you mean, right? ¿A qué te refieres? On what, right? I mean... We know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. Uh, la innovación, la eficiencia y el respeto deben ser parte de nuestro servicio, servicio al 
Cliente. Cliente. Customer, right? Mm, dice Mario, I see your point. I see your point. Veo tu punto. We know about the values of the company. But maybe we don't apply them. Ha mirado usted empresas que tienen unos valores que aquí, que allá. Pero ¿qué dice aquí? We know about the company values. Sabemos de los valores de la compañía. Pero quizás, dice, but maybe no los aplicamos. Right? Have you ever been to a place? Ha ido, ha ido usted a un lugar donde tienen en la pared, they have it on the wall, the vision and the mission y los valores. Right? En los centros educativos los tienen, right? But then when you enter or in any institute, any business, when you enter, they treat you bad, lo, lo, lo tratan mal, ni, ni, ni buenos días, ni nothing, right? They're just like, ajá, ¿y qué quiere usted, right? It's like, what, right? So that's what they're talking about here. But maybe we don't apply them. Exactly, exactly, exactamente. We should live the values that make us different from other companies. Deberemos vivir los valores que nos hace diferentes a otras compañías. All right, that's what this means. Now, this is what I want you to do. You are going to practice this conversation with your classmate, with your group. And then you are going to answer the questions, all right? Number one and number two. Veamos la pregunta, Coreas. Coreas. Oscar, Coreas. Yes. Can you read number one, please? What a strategy. Okay. What a strategy. 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 What what Australian strategy does Teresa and Mario's company use to promote its core values? Okay, values. 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 All right. So what is asking here is que estrategia, right? What strategy Teresa and Mario usan para promover los, los valores de la empresa? ¿Qué estrategia utilizan? No me la digan, lo van a responder. Bas based on the reading. Okay. Based on the reading, all right? Number two. Thank you, Oscar Correa. Number two. Who wants to read number two? Teacher, okay. Rivera. Okay, thank you, Rivera. Hey, al fin te oigo, right? Very good, <laughs> right? Eso me llega. Very good. Our Mario and and Teresa, positively, 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 okay, positive, positively, positively, excellent, okay, impact, 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 with the company's values, who, how, how, okay. very good, okay, by uh, David, by impacted by, by, by. Okay? okay, it significa por, right? Por. So, are Mario and Teresa positively impacted? Que si Mario y Teresa son impactados positivamente por los valores de la compañía? Sí o no? Yes or no? How? En qué forma? Como? Como son impactados ellos? How? How are they impacted? What do you think, right? What do you think? I think I translated the conversation. Okay, si me pusieron atención y siguieron, se la traducí todo. So you should get an idea of what the conversation is about. Y ya les dije también, the translation about one and two, all right? So I hope you listen and pay close attention so you can answer these questions. Now, I'm going to put you in groups, okay? Let me see. Okay, son 16 de ustedes. Cabal va a salir. All right. Anyone has bad connection? 
alguien que tenga una mal conexión que no pueda estar con alguien más por el momento. Anyone. Everyone has good connection para hacer esta actividad en pares. Yes. No. Si no, me lo pueden decir para ponerlo con alguien con tres. All right. But if not, this is a pair activity and I'm going to put you in breakout rooms and you're going to do one and two. All right. Only one person. Nomás una persona me lo va a mandar. You're going to send it to me. Y esta sería la actividad tres, que sería en clase. Now, when you send it, you're going to send it para aquellos que son nuevos conmigo. All right. Eh, me lo mandan uno de ustedes dos, porque lo voy a poner en par uno nomás, no los dos, uno, con el nombre suyo y de la compañera o compañero de la actividad. ¿Ok? Si usted es el que tiene que estar escribiendo, entonces que haga que la otra persona hable. ¿All right? ¿Ay? No deje que usted haga todo, o, o ella o él haga todo. ¿Ay? Es entre ambos. Participate. Work in pairs. En equipo. Okay. Now I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And I want you to answer those questions. Let me see. Okay. It's going to be eight groups. Ready? One. Let me see. Let me see this. Come on. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, Oscar Ramirez, can you enter breakout rooms, please? Lo está esperando su compañero, Oscar Coreas.
to remember what we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our custom service. I see your point. Uh -huh. A company. Okay. The company. The company uses. Uh huh. Uses the new uses new, send. Ah, uh, send. Uh -huh. The company send. Uh, yeah. Is it sends or no? I don't know. I don't remember send or sends. Okay, how do you how do you know? Vamos a ver. How do you know si lleva ese o no? He, she, and it. Ah, y la compañía pertenece a algo, ¿verdad? O ello. Entonces es third person. Yes, sense. Eh, very With good. S. Excellent. Very good. Así es. Alejandro, it's correct. The company sends new letter or news. de la empresa ahí por donde dice valores de empresa valores de empresa you have, you have two minutes two minutes ok ok teacher okay, you have uh, one minute one minute Okay, teacher.
Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay. Remember, one of you, uno de ustedes del grupo, was going to send it to me, right? We're going to send me this activity. So, um, son ocho grupos, so I need eight homeworks. See, if you didn't finish, send me what you have. Si no terminaron, mándeme lo que tienen. All right? Number one, Argueta y Escobar, ustedes estaban en el grupo uno. David Rivera and Vicky, you were group number two. Misael and Victoria, group number three. And Alejandro and Johnny, group number four. Coreas and Oscar Ramirez, you were group number five. Jonathan Lisette, group six. Argueta y Juan Conrado, group seven. And Trinidad and Jessica, you were group eight. Right. So, cuando lo... Lo manden, ahí nomás voy a chequear el grupo que lo enviado. All right. So, please send it. If you didn't finish, don't worry. Si no terminó, no se preocupen de eso. Okay? Esta actividad la voy a calificar como esfuerzo. As effort. Work. All right? If you finish, great. Awesome. If you didn't finish, send me what you have. All right? Después de la clase ya no lo aceptaría. So send it right now. Mándamelo ahorita, por favor. Y eso es, ya no tendría ni nada de tarea, al menos que no me hayan entregado la anterior, la número dos. All right. So let's, let's continue. Let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's continue with the with the next page. The next page that we're going to work on, but no vamos a hacer la 12 todavía. All right. We're going to go to page 13. Page 13. All right. Don't worry. Casi la vamos a hacer. No se preocupen. We will do it. All right. But I need to cover the, the ING. Right, ahora ING. Aquellos que le gusta ING, aquí viene su parte. Okay, I'm going to call, I'm not going to read, I'm going to call on someone to read. <clears throat> we are on page 13. I'm sorry, page 13. Page 13, en la 13 de su manual. Page 13. All right, let me see. Hey, I want an apple. Argueta. <laughs> Send me one. All right. All right. Okay, who wants to begin reading, please? Quiero empezar aquí con hi. Jessica. Okay. Very hi, Roxana. All right. Uh, Argueta llamó a Jessica to read, please. Okay. Um, hi. Roxana, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. <laughs> I'm the industrial safety engineer. Safety, safety. Safety. No, no. Safe. Safety. Yes, so very good, Jessica. All right? Está su nombre también, pero aquí es con, con Y, con J. Soy yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer, right? So, ella es la ingeniera de seguridad industrial. All right. So, that's how they are. Very good. Um, Jonathan. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Okay. Trinidad. My department is responsible. Okay. Re responsible responsible for keeping the safety safe, safety safety of the plant very good my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant right mi departamento es responsable para mantener la seguridad de la planta no la planta que sembraron sino que la planta o sea la empresa um, continue please please
Ok, Lisset. Hello. Ok, una respuesta. Let me see. Ya dicho. Ah, ok. Va. Dale entonces. Good, good. I see I'll be part of the mind state. The partner will I be responsible to you. Ok. Very good. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Right? Ya a question. Seré yo responsable, right? Se está tomando como la responsabilidad, right? Por alguien más. To you, right? Sometimes be like, Ira, yo me hago responsable por ti, right? So, continue, please, Coreas. Uh, great. How for the department work together, but the mines chief is in charge of directing the department. You will be responsible to him. Okay. All right. You lost a little connection, but very good, very good. Okay, great. Our departments work together, uh, right? But the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him, right? Responsable para él. Now, Roxana, let's continue. Escobar. Jose Escobar. Okay, no respuesta. Conrado, can you continue, please? Okay. Roxana, thank you. Thank you. Jessica, may I call you if I need her? help? I, I need her. Okay, very good. If I need help, and then finally, continue. Sure. Very good. Seguro, right? Sure. Yeah, no problem. So it says, thank you, Jessica. But you have two diff you have different departments, right? Hay diferentes departamentos here, right? Different structures of the company. Now, if you notice here, it says for, es responsable for keeping, for keeping. in charge of directing, directing. So if you notice, we have lo que es prepositions, preposiciones, y luego sigue un verbo con ing, a verb with ing, all right? But I'm going to give you a little bit more structure. That was just a little reading. I'm going to give you structure. No se procuren de esto porque ya no le voy a dejar otra actividad hasta después de vacaciones. Al menos que alguien sure. quiera la tarea, se la puedo dejar. Yes? I confuse. I know that ING, I is ando, endo, yendo. Mm -hmm. But, uh, for example, my, in Jessica, my department is responsible for keeping. Yes. Responsable por. Mantener, uh, mantener. No, is not manteniendo. Ah, uh, very good question. Very good question, Johnny. Very good. Y eso lo vamos a responder ahorita. All right. Now. Let me see. Let me go back. All right. Let me. If you go to the next page, si se van a la página 14, all right. Ahí hay una pequeña estructura. All right. Next page. But to answer your question, Johnny. Okay. Para responder su pregunta. Okay. Johnny preguntó una pregunta muy importante. All right. Preguntó esto. Johnny said, well, teacher, el ING, right, por ejemplo, working. Ejemplo, ya que estamos en inglés para el trabajo, ¿verdad? Working. Endo, right? El endo. Él dijo, 
trabajando. Right? And I don't like to write a lot of Spanish because I'm not very good in Spanish. Okay? So, pero esta sí la sé escribir. Right? I'm not a very good uh, Spanish writer. Alright. Now, working, trabajando. Right? ¿Cuándo se utiliza ese término? ¿En qué tense? ¿Alguien lo sabe? Present continuous. Very good, Oscar Ramírez. Present continuous. Right? En el presente continuo. Present Continuous. Ver, se lo voy a escribir aquí en la pizarra. En la pizarra, todo es virtual. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, igual pizarra. Alright. Alright, aquí virtualmente. Alright. So, working, trabajando, es en términos del present continuous. Exacto, Ramirez. Right. <clears throat> eh. ¿Se acuerdan ustedes en base, bueno, todavía sin el básico, pero ya este es el último módulo, en el 1, que miramos el, el verbo con ING? Y yo les dije, tachen eso, el gerundo. No sé si se acuerdan ustedes, los que estaban conmigo, que les dije que borraran el ING. Yes, teacher. ¿Se acuerdan eso? Que les yes. dije, yes. después en el futuro, yes. vamos a ver, right Ya llegó ese día. Alright, so si ustedes tienen su macho, pueden regresar y decir, ah, yo me acuerdo cuando el chicho nos dijo que no nos enfoquemos tanto en esto, sino que después lo vamos a ver. Esto se le llama, vaya, present continuous, lo miramos. El present continuous es, para aclarar esto, porque se van a poder confundir. Y gracias, Johnny, por, por hacerme esta pregunta. El present continuous es subject plus verb to be. Plus verb ing, right? Verb ing. Esta es la estructura del presente continuo. So when we use this structure, prácticamente estoy diciendo esto, right? Con el mismo verbo. Working. I am working. Okay. Cuando hablamos del endo, tenemos que utilizar el verb to be. No podemos decir yo trabajando. Yo estoy trabajando, ¿verdad? All right. So, entonces, esta estructura with subject, verb to be y verb ing es present continuous. Ok, Johnny. Aquí es donde se utiliza el endo. I am eating. I am eating pizza. I am working. All right. Estoy trabajando. Um, I am drinking water. Estoy tomando agua. Ahí estamos utilizando subject y el verb to be. Sin el verb to be. Si uno quita el verb to be, estamos totalmente incorrectos. No podemos utilizar el endo ni en español ni en inglés. All right? I working? No. Tiene que ir el verb to be siempre. Tiene que ir incluido. All right? Este es para el present continuous. Aquí ya es algo diferente. ¿Ok? Aquí es una preposición antes del verbo con ing. Si ustedes pueden ver aquí. Let me see. Bueno, voy a borrar esto. Es que, si no lo tienen, pues le pueden tomar captura ahorita porque lo voy a quitar. Right. I'm going to erase it. Here. ¿Qué viene antes del verb con ing? ¿Viene el verbo to be? No. No. ¿Qué es? Una preposición. Alright. So, after prepositions, we use ing. Eso se le llama, bueno, eh, se le llama verbo ing, pero también se le llaman gerundos. ¿Alguien ha oído ese término? Gerundos, gerunds, right? Se le llaman gerunds, gerunds, okay? Gerunds, I'm going to write it, gerunds, 
Okay, gerunds. Now, el tema de gerunds sí es amplio. All right, se lo voy a ser sincero, but no vamos a ver todo lo de gerundos. We're not going to see everything related to gerunds porque creo que pasaríamos hasta toda semana de agosto, right? But, but sí lo vamos a ver con prepositions. With prepositions, all right? Just remember que no es lo mismo el endo con los verbos con present continuous a los gerundos, all right? Son diferentes, all right? For example, y ahorita lo vamos a ver en el ámbito laboral. With prepositions. Sí. Siempre se traba esto. Good question, Johnny. Now, can you read? Haga no miso esta S. Don't disregard this S. All right. It says, Use, uh, yo no voy a leer, let me see, Johnny. Use a verb plus ing, ing after prepositions like for or of in expressions as be responsible for be, a, be in change of charge. Be, Charge accountable for commit to committed 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 to dedicated to very good dedicated to dedicado a right dedicated to these are prepositions okay prepositions son preposiciones okay and they come after en el ámbito laboral como cuando uno cuando uno es responsable por Right? O encargo de. In charge of. And let me see. ¿Pueden ver la pantalla? Complete. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now. Yes. For practice. Una cosa es que yo pueda estar diciéndole, diciéndole, right? Y nomás escuchando y escuchando y otra cosa es la práctica. Veamos. Remember. ING. After prepositions. Ok, so en este momento si están pensando en el endo o el present continuous, no se van a confundir. Quiten eso de la mente ahorita mismo, liberen ese present continuous y lleguemos al gerunds. All right, verbs with ing que no tenga que ver nada con endo. Así cuando usted la vea, no se vaya a confundir. All right, so esto va para todos. Y gracias Johnny por hacer esa pregunta. Excellent question. All right, very good. I congratulate you. All right, let me see. Now, look at this, okay? Now remember, up here is verb plus ing, verbo ing, después, after prepositions, como, for or of. For or of. Bueno, y usted me dice, bueno, ¿y cuál es la diferencia entre for y of, right? Una es como para y la otra es de, okay? Aunque a veces se puede mezclar dependiendo cómo, cómo uno lo quiera interpretar, right? For example, yo estoy a cargo de, ¿verdad? Yo estoy a cargo de eh, investigar o revisar las cajas, right? Or, yo, uh, ¿quién es el responsable para contratar nuevo personal? ¿Quién es el responsable para contratar o para supervisar, verdad? You're going to use for. For. Now, y prácticamente ya están aquí, miren. For or of en expresiones como be responsible for. Right? Be responsible for. Be in charge of. In charge of significa, bueno, ustedes ya saben que es responsible, palabra latín, responsable, right? But in charge of. ¿Qué significa in charge of? Encargo de. Right? O como de un cargo. Yo estoy de cargo de. 
charge of, be accountable for, ser responsable por. También accountable significa responsable, right? O accountable. La, la persona es, eh, da, rinde cuentas, right? Accountable for. Committed to, o sea, committed cuando uno ya se somete a algo. Y dedicado, dedicated to. But, look at the questions, right? Como les dije, una cosa es que yo hable y me escuchen y otra cosa es que lo practiquen ustedes. Vamos a ver. Ya están los verbos allí. Ok, and I'm going to say it in Spanish, ok? Ya que este es un nuevo tema, lo voy a decir en español, pero ahorita lo voy a soltar en puro inglés. Los, los verbos ya están en paréntesis. Así que no, por favor, no vayan a inventar o poner algo diferente. Enfóquense en los verbos en paréntesis. ¿Alguien me puede leer los verbos, por favor? José Teacher. Ok, dale. Número uno, supervi supervise. Supervise. Uh, supervise. Número dos, check. Número tres, Repair. Number four, seal. Seal, seal. Seal. Very good. Number five, number five, uh, uh, assist. Okay, assist. Okay, assist. Very number good. six, manage. Okay, manage. 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 Very good, All right? Eso significa manejar, All right? Manage. No, vaya. Now, estos son los verbos. Supervise. Ok. Now, ¿qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Convertir los verbos en qué? En gerundos. En gerunds. Ok. Prácticamente con ing. All right. So, si el verbo termina con e, y es ing, ¿qué, ¿qué hacemos con este verbo? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer ing? Suprimir la e. Ok, very good. Y agregar ing. So you're going to say remove, Conrado, remove. Remove e. E. Letter, uh, remove letter e. Ok, add, agrega e. Add, add a, no, a, I, a, n, g, I, n, g. Very good. Excellent. Good job. So you're going to say supervise, right? Supervise. And you're going to make it supervising. All right? Eso es todo. Pero lo que, lo que es importante es lo que significa. All right? So como les dije, dejemos el present continuous to the side. Y veamos. Who is responsible for? Who. ¿Qué significa who? ¿Quién? 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 Right? ¿Quién es responsable para supervising? Para supervisar la máquina operadora. Mm. La... Los operadores de máquinas. All right. So, estamos hablando de las personas. Right? Los que operan las máquinas. So, you're going to say, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? All right. Preposition for verb ing. Y significa, ¿quién es responsable por? Right? O para supervisar, supervisar the machine operators. Okay? Después de este tipo de preposiciones, el verbo tiene que ir con ing y no tiene que ver nada con present continuous. Ok? Acuérdense de eso, no van a quedar después como um, supervisando? No, porque no es present continuous. Right? Si sí puede ser supervisando, si uno dice yo estoy supervisando, I am supervising, pero en este caso no está el verb to be aquí. 
en frente de, <coughs> del ING. So, haber dicho eso, lo voy a dejar a ustedes. Number two, quiero participación de alguien que no ha participado. Ok, no quiero dejar tarea para, para estas vacaciones. Yo te Alejandro. Ok, ok, Alejandro. Number two. Uh -huh. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? Very good, very good. So, si usted es un supervisor y usted dice, mire, ¿y quién está a cargo? Verdad? Who is in charge? ¿Quién está a cargo de revisar o chequear la qué? La calidad de los productos. You see? So, this is using ING after a preposition. ¿Ok? ¿Te acuerdas lo que le dije anteriormente? Siempre es para un propósito, right? Now, who is in charge? Y luego hay una respuesta. Pero la respuesta la podemos hacer después. Right? Number three. Who wants to participate? Number three. Jonathan, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Very good, excellent. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Perfect. Very good. Number four. Okay, Lisa, thank you. Who is accountable for Acc accountable? Accountable? Accountable. Mm -hmm. For selling the product. Very good. Very good. Very good. Who is accountable? Prácticamente, ¿quién es responsable o quién es el que rinda cuentas? Right? Para vender los productos. Right? Very good for selling the products. Very good. Excellent. Number five. Who wants to read number five? Oscar Ramirez. Okay. Thank you, Ramirez. Is who is in charge of charge? Charge. Charge. Who is in charge of? Okay, no, Ramirez. Who safe? is? Who is? Oh. Who, who is, is in charge? Who is in charge? of assisting the assemblers. Very good, assemblers. Very good, Ramirez. Assemblers. Excellent, good job. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers, right? ¿Quién está a cargo de asistir? Los assemblers son aquellos que asemblan. Las personas que quizás asemblan carros o or televisores, right? Anything of that nature, right? I, I don't know another word. No me llega a mí una otra palabra. Maybe Alejandro, you want to say something? ¿Quieres decir algo, Alejandro? No? Okay. Let me see. Number six. Number six. Who wants to read number six? I'm teacher. Okay, Vicky. All right. Who is accountable for ma ma managing the good operation? Okay, the whole, whole. The whole operation. Very good. Now here, Vicky, the word is manage, right? Manage. Manage. Okay. Right? So how do we write it here? Managing. Managing. ¿Me lo puede deletrar? Can you spell it? Yes. A I N I. Uh, I. Ok, mire la pantalla. Así me está diciendo usted. M I. No, M A. Ah, ok, very good. M A. N A. Alright. G. Ok. I N G. 
Excellent. Very good. Managing. Perfect. Very good. Who is accountable, right, for managing the whole operation, right? Accountable. Quien es el que rinde cuentas, right, para manejar toda. Whole significa todo, la totalidad. All right, whole, W-H-O-L-E, toda la que, operación, right, the operation. Now, as you can see here, there are, tiene que haber respuestas, right? So, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Who is responsible? ¿Quién crees que es responsable para supervisar las, los operadores de maquinaria. Who do you think it is? Based on this graph, basándonos en esta gráfica, what do you think? Can someone guess? Can volunteer? Is supervisor. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. A supervisor. Okay. Very good. Any other Any other answers? Any other answers? Okay, what about number two? Who is in charge of quality? ¿Quién está encargado de revisar la calidad de los productos? The quality of the product. Johnny? Juan José, teacher. Quality Hi. control inspector. Eh, hey, very good, Juan José. Excellent. Quality control yeah. inspector. Right? Y esto ya viene prácticamente lo que miramos en la módulo 1. ¿Se acuerdan? Quality control. Right? Floor manager. ¿Se acuerdan de este vocabulario? Right? The engineer, the supervisor, truck drivers. Do I still remember we saw in uh, module 1? Okay, what about number 3? Who is responsible for repairing? Repairing. Para reparar the problems of the machines. ¿Quién sería? Machine operation. Which one? Machine the, operation. The machine operators. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Is there another one? Hay otra? Manager. Okay. Manager. Okay. Any other? Pueden ver ahí los cuadritos. Ahí hay uno que Sumble. resalta. Ok. Mm, mm, assemblers son los no. que. Mm, ah, ok. Esos son los que construyen. Right? Yes. El, el aparato. Pero ¿quién lo repara? ¿Quién es responsable de repararlo? Right? ¿Who do you think it is? The merchandiser. Maintenance personnel. Okay, maintenance personnel. That could be one. Yeah, that could be one. That's also correct. Okay. Quality control. Quality control. El control de calidad, right? El super, el inspector, el inspector. Right? The inspector. Pero las otras también están incluidas. Las que me dijeron también. That's just one, another one. All right? And we are going to... Finish this when we come back from vacation using the ING for uh, after prepositions. Remember, after prepositions, después de preposiciones, el verbo es simple o con ING? Is it based? Mm -hmm. ING, right? ING. Remember that. ING. All right, great, great. When we come back, let me see. We didn't have time, but tuvimos tiempo de hacer esto. But when we come back, cuando regresemos de vacaciones, remember this, okay? Van a estructurar ustedes algo así, something like this, where you're going to. This is an example, okay? 
ustedes van a poner presidente, vice president de diferentes departamentos en las funciones. All right? Como pueden ver aquí dice Mark Davis is the president. Right? Mark Davis, aquí está. Mark Davis. Y luego vamos a utilizar uh, el verb con ing. Johnny, can you read please? Ok. He is responsible for contracting new vice presidents. Very good. Number two. Continue. Daniel Salter. Ok, que es este que está aquí. Very good. He's the vice president of human resources. Very good. Continue. He is in charge of supervising the employees. Very good. Ok. Esto lo van a hacer ustedes. Y así sucesivamente. Esto era nomás como un ejemplo. Luego va a seguir el, el vicepresidente de finanzas o de marketing. Y usted va a poner el nombre de la persona, el título y qué es lo que hace. A qué está a cargo utilizando prep, el preposition of or for with ing. Para que aprendan a utilizar el gerund. Verb with ing. All right. But that is after when we come back from vacation. So, si quieren tomar una captura, ya, si quieren preparar, you can take it. All right, so you can be ready. Okay, class. I wanted to share that with you. Thank you for participating. And I'm going to finish by doing the attendance. All right, the final one. So today, se queda quien? You remember? Alejandro, right? No, right. So today's Alejandro, you stay for the extra 10 minutes, right? Okay. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez. Present. Okay. Alejandro Antonio Ramirez. Alejandro Antonio Ramirez. Present. Okay, thank you. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado. Okay. Cero. Gerardo Efraín Mejía. Gerardo Efraín Mejía. Ok. Cero. Gustavo Alberto Montepec. Gustavo Alberto Montepec. All right. He didn't answer. Let me put a notificación aquí. Estaba temprano, pero ya no está. Let me put it right here. Ok. Se salió de la conferencia. All right. Let me see. Johnny Omar Torres. Present. Ok, thank you. Jonathan Emanuel Franco. Present. Thank you. Jorge Alfredo Argueta. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Jose Daniel Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose David Rivera. Present. Thank you. Jose Santiago Escobar. Jose Santiago Escobar. No Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose Conrado. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Julio, no ha entrado todavía. Ok, cero. Let me see. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Coreas. Present. Thank you. Oscar Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lisset. Present. Thank you. Vicky Dinora. Vicky Dinora. No Present, okay, thank you. Victoria Maria Vasquez. Present. Thank you. And Jessica. Present. Okay, Jessica, thank you. Okay, class. We are finished. Only Alejandro stays. Have a great weekend. Les deseo lo mejor. Cuídense, please. And I see you after vacation. Disfruten a lo máximo, right? And just have fun, right? No hay tarea para ustedes. Enjoy the weekend, the holidays. And thank you for your participation. Okay? I'll see you Monday on the 9th at 9. All right? So okay. good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Night. Bye, bye bye. Have a great week. Bye bye, okay. teacher. All right. Great vacation. All right? Disfruten. Thanks, teacher. Okay, no problem. Hey, yeah. good night. La Oh, hello. Let me remove.
All right. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, teacher. All right. Great, man. It's, I'm glad to see you. All right. Glad to see you. All right. So how, how have you been? How are you? Fine. Thank you. All right. Great. So let me see where's my water. Uh, I just uh... So do you have any questions, Alejandro? Anything that you would like to talk about? Maybe vocabulary, pronunciation? anything uh or just conversation whatever whatever comes to your mind alejandro this is 10 minutes for you yeah we can review the infinity okay let me share screen This right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to practice a little bit more? ¿Quieres practicar un poquito más? Yes. All eh, right, great. Es que no estaba poniendo atención cuando puso eso. Ah, ¿no? vaya pues. Hoy sí vas a poner atención porque estamos aquí uno a uno, right? <laughs> All right, Alejandro. Check this out. Mira esto. All right. So you have here... Remember that um, infinitives se utilizan también para un propósito, for a purpose, right? For a purpose. Or for the subject of a sentence. En este caso, when we were doing the la misión, the mission statement, right? To become, to, y todo eso. But, para ir más allá de, del ámbito laboral, puse esto, que es lo, cuando uno lo usa en la forma común, right? So here, I have the answers, pero no es que la que sigue la respuesta, sino que you have to look for it. La tiene que buscar. For example, remember, el infinitive es el to plus the verb in base form. Right? Como puedes ver, todos llevan to y el verbo no con ing. Right? Base form. This is an infinitive. So, number one, Alejandro. They use their case. Keys. Keys. Mm -hmm. uh, to open the door. Very good. To open the door. Very good. Very good. ¿Y tú para qué los utilizas? Can you give me an example for, of you? To open the door house. Uh, to open the house door. Car. Car. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Number two. We go. We go to the park. Mm -hmm. To explore the moon. To what? Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> to play basketball. Very good. Now, what about you? I go to the park. Correr. Okay, and how do you say correr? Perdón, ¿cómo se dice correr? <laughs> <laughs> run, run, uh, run. To run. Uh, for the morning. <laughs> okay, in the morning, in the morning. Very good. What about the next one? You use the dictionary to translate my essay. Okay, to translate my essay. 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 Okay, essay. What is essay? A essay is a ensayo. Okay. Right. All right. Ok. ¿Y ¿Tú me mandaste esta actividad, Alejandro? Yes. Eh, Porque estoy recibiendo una ahorita, no sé si es la tuya. No, ahorita ¿Ah? no. Ok. No. Déjame ver quién la acaba de mandar. Ah, es Eduardo. 
A ver, no veo la tuya aquí por eso. También envíe la, 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 la en pareja. Ah, ok. All right, la de pareja también, right? All right. All right, let's continue. He, number four. He turned left on Sunday. Number four. Right. Number four. He turned left on right. Right, left and right. Uh, to cross the road. Very good, excellent. All right, continue. She goes to school. Uh, to learn new thing, things. Right. Very good. Uh, six, I use the scissor. Scissors. 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 Uh, to cut my whole notebook. Okay. To they cut. Use, cut, Alejandro. Cut. To cut my whole notebook. Old. Old. I hold. Yes. Not. All right. They use the spaceship. The spaces. Okay. Spaceship. The spaceship. Uh, to explore the moon. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Robert and Alice use their tablets. Yes. To send message by his friends. Okay, with, with. To send message with his friends. Okay, messages, messages. messages. Okay, very good. Continue. Uh, my brother use uses. My brother uses the mobile phone. To protect myself. Okay, very good. To protect myself. Protect myself. Very good. Excellent. I use an avatar uh, to play their new computer game. Very good. Yes. Very good. All right. So you did it. You did it, Alejandro. All right. Great. All right. Let me see. Okay, let me see. All right, we are finished with the uh, extra 10 minutes for you. And thank you for staying, okay, Alejandro? And have a great weekend and enjoy the holidays. And I'll see you after the uh, August festivities, right? So take care, Alejandro, and thank you for participating always. You're doing a great job, all right? Thank you, Michelle. Okay, Alejandro, take care. Good night. All right. Good night.